Welcome to part 9 of the series on business process automation. This time we talk about embedding a workflow management system into an application. This topic is a request from Ben who contributed a lot to the discussion on business process automation and YAWL. From a software architecture point of view, workflow management systems are often found in the middle tier. They can be embedded in a single application or run alone as a kind of glue between many applications. In this video I'll talk about embedding YAWL into LifeRay, an open source enterprise portal. While some points will certainly be different with other workflow management systems, the general issues can be certainly transferred to other systems. Well, the embedding topics we have when we have a workflow management system and a portal like LifeRay, for example, or another application is, we have to integrate the user interface. We have to be able to start cases and we have to be able to access the work item list. Another topics are users with their credentials, their roles and their privileges. And perhaps data of workflows in an application database that is underneath. In this picture you can see how YAWL is embedded into a web-based system. So on the top you can see the browser that is the user interface level and from the browser you can access the application. For example an insurance management system. Then from the application you have a direct connection to the persistence layer below and you have the application database in there. You can also start new cases, new workflow cases from the application and you have one way or another to access the list of work items of the workflow management system, in this case YAWL. Then you have the YAWL control center which is standalone, this is outside the application but still operated from a browser and you have the YAWL editor that is a fat client solution. And at the center below you have the YAWL workflow engine, the resource service and all the other services of the YAWL system. Also inside the database management system at the bottom you have the YAWL database. And in the case of a LifeRay portal you would have a third database here, the LifeRay database. Let's talk about the user interface. So not every user has the right to start a case for each workflow. And the starting of cases usually is integrated into the application. And only users who are logged in with a certain role can start a case using certain actions. And parameters need to be passed to the workflow cases. For example, the user who has started the workflow or the number of an insurance contract or whatever. Then you have the work item list for individual users depending on their roles and also which work items they have started. You need additional application specific information for selecting work items in longer work item lists. So for example in an insurance the contract number might be such an information. The technical case ID by the workflow management system is not enough here. Then we have user roles and privileges. User credentials, username, password, roles and also privileges of performing certain actions or delegating work items must be synchronized from the application to the workflow management system. We don't want to have this in two locations. So this is a mechanism that is already foreseen in YAWL and you can just map 
the organizational structure to some other database and then the data are synced in regular intervals. The workflow system must also know who is currently logged in. In some cases, a connection between workflows and the application database is needed. For example, when we are dealing with insurance contracts, there are certainly read and write operations from the workflow cases to this database of contracts. In one project, we have used the XSD data type definitions of YAWL to generate a relational database. The technology we used is called Hyperjax B. So why have we used LifeRay? LifeRay is an open source portal used by huge international enterprises. It's comparable to Microsoft SharePoint. LifeRay has portlets to develop web-based applications, has powerful user and roles and organizational structures, etc., and also advanced security features, all these things of giving passwords to users, enforcing strong passwords, for example, are all integrated into the system and don't need to be developed. Another feature is a basic document management system integrated into LiveRay and many more. So LiveRay combined with the most powerful open source workflow management system, you can build any web-based enterprise software that I can think of at the moment. I hope this was helpful.